hard, very patient. I would say frustrating at times, but also really, really pleased with it. I, I don't know what more I could have done. Could have seen some putts go in, but I didn't hate how I putt. Started the ball in line a lot. Uh, the greens got really fast, so adjusting to that took a couple holes. And yeah, just hard to get it close to the hole. Um, didn't play the par fives well on the front. Got a funky lie on two, but other than that, I was like, pretty happy with that. Seemed like you were playing pretty conservative off the tee on par fives, and was there was that part of your game plan? Uh, kind of walk us through the, the strategy off the tee. Um, I just don't draw my driver real well. I can hit that low hook with the through that goes far. So I mean, I had a five iron into two. That wasn't a lack of aggression. I don't think it just fit better and it goes as far as my cut, a perfect cut, and then eight. I played conservatively conservatively up the left so I could have a full number in my third and then 13 yeah 13 is probably the one where I guess if I wish I could do something it would do be what Bryson did but we kind of have to play that one just to if we have a great number we'll go I could have gone today so and then 15 I have to hit the nuts if it's into the wind uh, in general and I actually just wanted to make a smooth swing I would say that was the most conservative but I kind of like it because I watched what he did and it's a hard second shot with how firm the greens are to that pin. So I think if maybe if there was a back right pin, something that fit a little better, I might give it a little more off the tee. But yeah, I don't know. It's just been it's been working. I'm a very good wedge player, so I like to rely on that. Max, you have not really been in the mix, obviously, in majors yet. Can you, you know, you're just off the, off the course for the round here. But can you speak to what you'll think about tonight and, and you know, just kind of how stoked you are about the Yeah. Here? I, I played today with a ton of gratitude and appreciation for the opportunity to do this. I'm really glad I get to do it again tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to remind myself I'm a dog and uh, I'm ready for this moment. Are you one who you know, imagines it happening or are you one who try, try to stay present? You know, all the different cliches like where you kind of fall yeah. in, the, in the spectrum of those things. All of it. Uh, if I catch myself, uh, you know, thinking about what could go wrong. I let myself dream about what could go right. Um, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I didn't know what was going to happen today. If you told me I made no birdies today, uh, I would have thought I imploded. So you just kind of go with the flow. So I let myself go both ways, but uh, once I'm playing, I'm, I'm very present.